The stolen and perverted writings of Homer and Ovid, of Plato and Cicero, which all men ought to contemn, are set up by artifice against the sublime of the Bible. But when the new age is at leisure to pronounce, all will be set right in those grand works of the more ancient and consciously and professedly inspired men will hold their proper rank, and the daughters of memory shall become the daughters of inspiration. Shakespeare and Milton were both curbed by the general malady and infection from the silly Greek and Latin slaves of the sword. Rouse up, O young men of the new age. Set your foreheads against the ignorant hirelings, for we have hirelings in camp, the court, and the university, who would, if they could, forever depress mental and prolong corporeal war. Painters, on you I call. Sculptors, architects, suffer not the fashionable fools to depress your powers by the prices they pretend to give for contemptible works or the expensive advertising boasts that they make of such works. Believe Christ in his apostles that there is a class of men whose whole delight is in destroying. We do not want either Greek or Roman models if we are but just and true to our own imaginations. Those worlds of eternity in which we shall live forever in Jesus our Lord. <laughs>